welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you remember last week, I said um, we was trying some new waters or we were going on new travels and new ventures, um, but we didn't know where. Um, and to be honest, I still don't know where. So as this uh, vlog unfolds, um, we'll all find out together where we're going. Um, yeah, if you remember last week, um, the narrowboat pirate had to go off um, to keep up with some appointments that they needed to do uh, and we're now heading this way which is taking us back down to Barbridge Junction and we're going to stop there at Barbridge today uh, whether we stay there overnight or not I'm not sure um, but we're going to stop there because I can get easy access into town and we can get some shopping in uh, so that's the plan for this afternoon um, and then after that, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, what goes. But uh, what a fantastic day it is. It's lovely. It's warm. And you wouldn't think we've just got into uh, October. Fantastic. Well, something uh, something a bit different this morning. Um, Malcolm, who we're with at the moment, has got a problem with the engine. Uh, losing a lot of oil, so we can't go anywhere without him. So we're going to climb down in the engine bay and see whether we can see what's going on. This is one thing I like about the Bolton. People help each other out. Lovely community. Anyway. Let's uh, let's scramble in and let's see what's going on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've been down in the engine. We've now sussed out the offending item, which is this, which is the oil pressure sender and it's been leaking out from the bottom of there so we're just waiting for the chandlery to open and then we can go and pick up a new one hopefully and get that fitted back up and he'll be back up and running later on worst case scenario is we're going to have to wait for a part to come in uh, tomorrow uh, which means we'll have to stay here and go to the pub sad life right Here's the spur part. I will not tell you the trouble we had trying to locate this and getting it here. But we've got it. All we need to do now is get this back on the engine. So that's where it's going. Yeah, I think that's it. Just, I'd rather get two hands on it yeah. Then one, because I don't want to cross thread it going in. Yeah, you don't want to put the thread in. Right. Think about that then. Yes, cooking. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Hiya. Well, good morning. And check that out. How blue is that sky? Lovely, fantastic. It's lovely and warm too. You wouldn't think that we're kind of maybe a quarter of the way into October it's fantastic what are winters like on a canal yeah, hopefully like this I doubt it though so you can tell we're moving we repaired uh, Malk's engine yesterday as you saw uh, ran the engine wasn't losing any oil 
So uh, we've left it overnight, checked everything this morning, everything is still fine, so we're confident that we can move without him losing all his oil. So uh, he's just in front of us, and we're heading off um, probably a 45 minute journey, something like that, and then we'll pull over and we'll check his, uh, let it all settle, check his oil levels, make sure everything's all right, just for peace of mind, but we're certain we've sorted it, so that's all good. Well, it's early in the morning. As you can see, it's very grey, it's damp, it's been raining, um, and it's freezing this morning. And we're still not 100% certain as to what we're doing. We're pointing that way, so we're going that way, obviously. And what we're gonna try and do for this weekend coming is get into Wardlam. We wanted to get to Wardlam previously because we was going to go and do the four county ring trading around that but we, we weren't because of stoppages and things like that so we're going to go and try and get to Wardlam that's the plan whether we get there whether we can get a moor in whether it's worth trading when we get there who knows <laughs> we'll find out when we get there um, if we can it's been a nice trip um, it's the middle of October so towpath trading now is getting a bit scarce weather is getting a little bit worse and the footfall of people coming on the towpath isn't as great as it, as it is through summer so there is going to come a time where we're not going to be trading every weekend and it's just going to be sporadic random weekends that we get good weather and we're in a good spot but we switch over to our online sales um, so we'll we'll deal with that more through the winter uh, but we've got some great stuff on our website check us out www.cruisingcrafts.co.uk remember that one um, and if you check in the description below there might just be a cheeky little sneaky discount code so just have a look out for that one as well anyway it's about time we set off we've got a couple of locks to do through hat green uh, so we're going to get them done and get off into Wardlam Come on then, let's get cracking. Oh, let's get a coat and a bobby hat on, cause yeah, it's a bit cold. just done the uh, two locks at Hat Green and if you can see the kind of telecoms tower there that and what is behind those trees is the not so secret secret bunker at Hat Green which I haven't been to yet but I really do fancy uh, going in having a good nosy at that but I think you can get to it uh, off this bridge here so maybe another day when I've got a bit of time we shall do Hat Green Secret Bunker well this has been a nice cruise up to now it's not got any warmer, uh, but the sky is brightening up, although we don't ever seem to be catching the brighter bits, but it's definitely getting brighter and it's starting to look like it could be a nice afternoon. 
still travelling with uh, Malcolm and Gary, so uh, we're all enjoying this little trip together. There has been talk of going to the pub again. I think they're getting a bad influence on me. I mean, me, got pub? Hmm. I don't do things like that. Honest. We made it to Audlem, as you can see. And we're moored up just under the bridge on the visitor moorings. And this that we're approaching is the bottom lock. This is lock 15 on the Audlem flight. Now we did do some trading yesterday. Um, and to be honest, it wasn't the best. Very, very quiet. I don't know why it was quiet, but I don't think there was a boat came past us. There must have been about 20 people all day walked past us. It was so quiet. But that's one of the things now about trading at this time of year on the tow path. The weather is not great. It's grey, it's damp, it's cold. And people aren't coming out for walks down the tow path anymore. And the ones that are, you know, kind of like your seasoned walkers and they don't want to stop, they don't bring money out, they're not going to buy anything from us uh, and that's just one thing that we're going to have to come to terms with that there is a point in time where towpath trading kind of stops unless you have, you know, really nice sunny day uh, and you're in a decent location where you are going to get some footfall so I think we're approaching that time now, to be honest. Um, this is normally a good spot to trade in. Um, there's normally a couple of floating markets and other traders, you know, say that it's good here. So I suppose it is what it is. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate. It's not great. We're gonna to have to start relying more on our website to bring us an income because this is how we make our money. We we don't have a big pot of gold stashed away for a rainy day. You know, this is how we make our money. We we trade and sell. So uh, yeah, website. It looks like it's going to be. But today we're having a little break this morning for an hour or so, and we're going to have a walk up the uh, the Oldham flight and uh, go and see because we've never actually been up, up here before this is all virgin water for us so uh, we'll take the dogs for a walk are you coming with us? confusing me now. I was speaking to someone about this and I, I couldn't get my head around it. This building looks like stables. You know, the doors look like they would have been stables, which makes sense because at one time boats uh, were pulled by horses. So stables, replenish your horse, happy days. The problem is there's a lot though and I'm on the towpath side. There's nothing over there other than the little board to cross the lot there. And there's nothing at that side either. 
If it is a stable, how the hell did they get the horses over there? If anybody else knows what this building actually is, if it isn't the stables, or if you've got any idea how they got the horses across, drop us a comment down below, because, uh, yeah, that's confused me, that now. Hmm. Leave us a comment. Well, this has definitely been worth walking up through the locks for. We're at lot one and we've come to uh, the little honesty boxes and uh, everything. It's Panda's Pantry with the looks of it on there. So we've got what we've got in here. Don't know what we can see in here. Bits of cakes and scones and all sorts. Uh, pork pies, Cornish pasties, ice creams. <laughs> I think we may just have to indulge and partake in a little bit while we're here. It'd be rude not to. So we're on our way back down from the uh, the honesty box up there at lot one, and we've bumped into uh, one of the big staff boats, and uh, he's single handing all the way down Ardland Flight, so uh, I'm heading that way anyway. He's passed me a windlass, and we're gonna lock him down to the bottom. Nice bit of exercise. Well, that's lock 12 done. Three more to go. Tell you what, I'm working a sweat up now though. I don't think I would like to be single-handing down these locks. Done a bit of single-handing before and uh, yeah, although it's not too bad, I suppose doing a flight of locks like this would be uh, a bit of an inconvenience, but if you take it slow and steady, I suppose it's all right. Right, let's get these last three done. Oh, right, so that's the uh, locking done. <sighs> that was hard work. Anyway, I'm gonna have my dinner now because we've got the uh, pork pie and some lemon drizzle cake from the uh, Honesty Box and I'm having that for my dinner. So I'm gonna get in front of the fire, uh, I'm warm back up uh, and have my dinner. So uh, I'll catch you all later guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.